Hi, I'm Bridget Snedden and I'm going to be playing Sophie Taylor. Sophie is Nate's wife, supposedly separated, but they are still technically married. She comes to the Bay to win him back. Long time no see, Nathaniel, but she is also the principal at Summer Bay High and she's heard that Nate's living there and she just thinks it's fate that they're meant to get back together and so she chases him back to Summer Bay. What are you doing here? Really? What kind of way is that to greet your wife? Sophie's a bit of a wild one. Um, she's sort of a free spirit. She's very confident. She knows what she wants. I have to admit, I thought I'd get a better reception. She's also determined when it comes to her teaching. She's, uh, she's always wanted to be a principal, so getting this role is her dream job, so she is ambitious, but she's also got a very kind heart. And you'll make a great principal. This could be good for you. Moving but... here will be a good thing too. How Sophie meets Nate, it's actually quite a lovely love story. Tragic in some sense. Uh, we met in hospital, actually. Uh, I was in a bad car accident and he saved my life. Of course, Dr. McDreamy, Nate, he is her rehab doctor. And so they spend quite a few months together of him having to rehabilitate her. During that time, they fall in love. I never stop loving you, Nate. I never stop loving you either. She feels like she's in a really great place now and she's ready for love and she's ready to show him how much she's changed. And she's really excited. She thinks when she sees him and when he sees her, it's just gonna be like everything's back on. That's what she's expecting, but it, it doesn't quite turn out that way for her. Sorry, I'm Ricky. Sophie. <laughs> um, Nate's wife. I've watched the show over the years and I do remember Fisher and recently Bianca because uh, Lisa is a friend of mine, so I've watched Lisa be the principal. It was actually quite lovely, her passing the baton to me because um, I was in one of her last scenes, so that was, that was quite nice for her to do that. I am... Um... Would you quit? Not exactly. I actually did um, work experience at Home and Away when I was 16 years old and I was so nervous. I remember getting given two giant milkshakes to present to the extras and they were filled right to the top that when I walked out I spilt a bit on the floor and anyway I went bright red and I was like okay I just didn't know what to do. One of the extras dobbed me in and um, anyway I remember I left that day crying. It was awful. Um, that was my behind the scenes um, experience of Home and Away before getting here. In terms of having scenes with Steve, uh, so far our characters have said one line to each other, <laughs> um, it's, which is quite funny. I'm hoping we do because um, we've obviously worked together in the past and uh, yeah, I enjoy working with him so hopefully, fingers crossed. Steve doesn't rehearse his lines with anyone, he likes to learn his lines on his own, whereas I like to run it so Steve will help. Steve's played Nate a couple of times for me. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 I mean, it's great having him there to bounce off the lines and having an actor to have his opinion before you get out in front of the cameras. Sophie's storyline is action-packed. There's a lot going on for her. Um, ups and downs, it's, it's a huge roller coaster for her. So literally every week when I get a new script, it's like, wow, <laughs> that's crazy. So yeah, there's a lot to look forward to. There's going to be a lot to watch. So I hope you enjoy it.